we're ready to drop the gate. And 450B limited. Damon McCoy. Nice call. You know the B class well. Yes. Looks like Blake Hazen in second, too. He's been very strong all week long. Very impressive rides from him. All right, so this should be a good one with those two out front. So Blake Hazen trying to make moves right now, starting out second as they go through those twisties. 450B, they're going to run hard. And let's see the line choice. Yep, inside and outside. Then they got the double. All right, this is good stuff. Get two of the faster riders in the class starting up together. Split lane, they got to guess. Oh. Oh. Side by side. Oh, oh. and one, oh, and a high side there. Cross rut followed by a high side for the 114. That was Michael Savard going down. Blake Hazen and David McCoy having a heck of a battle up front. 269, Hazen leading McCoy in the 98. William Peralt is third, and Tyler Evans fourth. Bryce Adams fifth. Long straightaway in a drag race. Split. Oh, 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 we watched the replay of the crash. Replay. Here we go. Looks so, like he just kind of cross it yep. and just high-sided there a little bit, but hopefully he's okay. Yeah, we don't quite have the angle, but I'm assuming the ruts out of that corner, Jasmine and Canfield, are tough. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah they seem to be. A lot of riders struggle to be clean out there. Blake Hazen got the hair hanging out of the back of the helmet, and before long, the rest of the field not going to be able to see it. Started off second and quickly able to pull away. Blake looks like a bigger rider here, so he's able to handle that 450. Tyler Evans was just on the track in uh, 250B not that long ago, running second. Is it actually an advantage, you think? These are not super long motos, so I don't know if fatigue's really a big factor. Is it actually better for a rider like Tyler Evans, Chase Yenser, to be out here and have ridden the track maybe 20 minutes ago? Yeah, I agree. I think it would be uh, very beneficial for that to, for, to be out there earlier. So you know all the lines, and uh, the track hasn't changed much, so I think that's uh, pretty helpful. Oh, and the 88 is in a battle. Oh, and the rider missed the rut on the outside. They had sandwiched him. Is that uh, Bryce Adams got stuck on the outside, missed the rut, went over the berm, goes down. The rider dealing with all that pressure. I believe that was uh, Eddie Norid just able to hold them off on the 188. So they tried to gang up on Norid. Norid holding on for third behind Tyler Evans and Blake Hazen. You want to watch Dylan Kuna, new to the B class, was really fast as a C rider last year. Kuna coming out of Modesto, California, fourth. And Damon McCoy, who started this race up front, they were working him inside and outside. He's back in fifth right now. There's wow. Tyler Evans, nice move, takes the lead. I didn't think he was gonna be able to catch him that quick, Jasmine. No, he's been really being very aggressive and just uh, pouncing on every line, all his lines that he's taken, so very impressive. So Tyler Evans rolling to the front in 450B limited and now starting to pull away. Eddie Norrid third, Dylan Tuna back, or sorry, Eddie, uh, Blake Hazen second, Norrid to push back. Dylan Kuna has taken third from him. Norid back to fourth. And Damon McCoy back to fifth. But Tyler Evans won to watch in these B classes, huh? Yes, for sure. Uh, rolling, making a couple passes and making them quick. Both those inside routes are getting pretty deep, and it looks like they're struggling going through them. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, now, left-hand corner for your leader, a Evans. Hazen's keeping his head up, trying to run with him. Trying to keep him in sight. Better to do that than think about what's coming from behind because Dylan Kuna 
in third on a wall at number 55. Trying to close the gap. And then it's Norid fourth, Damon McCoy fifth, Ty Casey sixth, William Moreau seventh, Alex Ransom eighth, Maximo Casares ninth, and Levi Wozik. That's your top ten. Down to the inside, the 85, getting around the lap traffic. Tyler Evans set up. Paul River, North Carolina. Blake Hazen coming all the way down from Bay City, Michigan. And Dylan Tuna from Modesto, California. Chris of the top 10, Ty Casey, Alex Ransom, Levi Wozik, Maximo Casares, William Moreau, and Damon McCoy. That's your top 10. Well, he wants to triple into the corner, Evans, so that makes it a lot easier to go outside. He can't do that triple from the inside. There's Dylan Kuna on the 55. He is caught in second place rider. Yes. Kuna going pretty fast. Is there time, you think, with two laps? Uh, I think I think Dylan can get it done. Uh, he's pretty aggressive, and he's a smart rider as well. Okay, so going to be some pressure for Blake Hazen in second. No problem for your leader. He's putting lap rider as a lap down. That is Tyler Evans. Evans getting away. And he's on to his final lap, looking to lock down the 450B limited title. I'm going to keep taking my notes here. The racing comes quick, and the next thing you know, an hour from now, I don't even remember exactly everything we saw <laughs> because they just keep churning out the main events. And Tyler Evans trying to churn out a championship. I think he's got it under control right now. Lap rider in front of him doesn't need to rush it because his lead is five seconds. Hazen and Tuna continuing the battle for second. And we're going to go eight laps here in 450B Limited. Working inside, outside. Trying to clear the lappers. Good job by Evans to do that. Double up. Tuna's going around the inside right here. Oh, he screws up and rolls the jump. He's sticking to that outside of the split lane. Yes, he is. All right, out of this corner, this should be it. Yep, still more time in this one. Might go 10 laps in this B-class. And Tyler Evans has got it. Blake Hazen doing a good job holding off Dylan Tuna. Still in the number two position. Six seconds behind this. Might see it. Oh, there's the battle right there. Kuna, see at the top oh, of the screen, yeah, trying to make the that. move. See that, Jasmine, yeah. Yeah, wow. Well. And we'll get to see him again here. Looks like he got around him. So Dylan Kuna, yep, 55 on the Kawasaki, getting around. Blake Hazen. Uh, sorry, Kuna, let's see if there's time. A lot and a half to go to make a last ditch effort. He'd have to make up six seconds. But I wonder, does Evans even know he's back there? Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, that's right. White flag coming out now for your leader, Evans. There it is. We got Jasmine Canfield and uh, Chase Yetzer up here in the tower with us for the Ricky Carmichael. Amateur Supercross at Daytona. A couple of B riders are out with this So that's our Racer X next program where we're helping train people up, get some experience, get some parts in the industry. There is the 85 of Evans. Tuna took one second out of it. It's down to five seconds. That's the good news. The bad news is there's only one lap to go. So I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. yeah, I don't think so either. All right, I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna give you the adjustment. All right, good job, everybody. Here it is, Tyler Evans in control through the split lane. And I think that's actually 58 that we're looking at there. It's the 85 who is the leader. 
There's a checkered flag. Nice job, Tyler Evans made a couple of passes and was able to pull off.